Live at 5. I hope you had a great weekend with family and friends as we had Thanksgiving weekend. Sherry and I traveled down to Springfield, Missouri and saw our grandson and also my son and just had a great time. So, But it's good to be back to work. So what we want to do today is we want to continue our journey through the book of Psalms. Now, we're not going to hit every single Psalm, but we're going to hit a number of them as we go through. What we're going to look at today is Psalm 6. Psalm 6. This is the first one. This is the first Psalm of repentance that King David writes. Now, we don't know exactly what's going on here, but we do know this. David is very, very depressed. Now, we know that depression can come from a number of different ways. It could come through a, a relationship going south. It could come through a financial situation, a work situation, a school situation, uh, many different situations that can bring depression. But there's another type of depression, and this is the depression that David's going through. It's called a spiritual depression. David had committed a sin. We don't know what it was, but he had committed a sin. His uh, faith had, uh, had jumped the rails, if you will. And he's very, very depressed about that. And so that's what he talks about. It's a, it's a spiritual depression that David is dealing with. Now, we used to call this spiritual depression. There was a, there was a kind of a term for it. And what it was called was the dark night of the soul. And that's what, that's what David's going through. And, and uh, I've been there, and maybe you've been there. And we feel the same way that David feels here. In fact, let me read you a couple verses. Uh, verses 2, 3, and 6 of Psalm 6 describes what David's going through. Listen, it says, Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? And then verse 6, he says, I am weary with my moanings. Every night I flood my bed with tears. Now, when we get into spiritual depression, which David is, and he writes about it. We feel that God is a million miles away. That's just how we feel. It's not true, but that's how we feel. And he writes about that in verse 4. Now, verse 4 of Psalm 6 is the key. Whenever I study this, I always look for a key verse. And this is the key verse. This is the turnaround verse, if you will. Verse 4, it says, Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. Now, what has happened is this. David remembers something that sometimes we forget uh, when we are in a spiritual depression. He mentions God's name five times in four verses. And the name that he uses is Jehovah. Now, the word that he uses refers to redeemer or a deliverer. In other words, in, in verse four, the light kind of goes on for David. He goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. My God is a God who loves to deliver. And then he talks about this. He says he talks about his steadfast love. That means God's mercy. You see, we have a God who loves to show mercy to us. Even though David's faith had jumped the rails here and he was spiritually depressed, he remembered who God is. When you and I are spiritually depressed, we need to remember that. We need to remember who God is. And we need to remember that he loves to show mercy toward us. And this is what David says. And then he realizes that, you know what? God is not a million miles away. God has said to us, I will never leave you or forsake you. And you know what? It turns around for David. And then he writes these verses in verses 8 and 9. It says this. It says, Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. When we are in the dark night of the soul, we must request God to bring the light. And when we go to him and ask for mercy, forgiveness for our sin, for our spiritual depression, 
He loves to forgive. He loves to turn it around for us. That's what he does. And I love serving my Lord. And I hope you do too. Because we have a great God who loves to show forgiveness, who loves to show his steadfast love for us, even when we, drop, when we jump the spiritual rails, so to speak. We have a God who loves to restore us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to come to you and just thank you for your mercy, for how you just forgive us, how you love us, even when we don't deserve it. Father, thank you. Father, I pray as we continue to go through the Psalms that we will learn many things, that we'll learn many things about you. So Father, again, thank you for your word and what it means to us. And Lord, thank you for my brothers and sisters. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow.